Hey, Brayden. I was looking over the invitation to your brother's wedding. There isn't anything about the dress code. Oh, that's weird. I know that they picked out a color theme and asked us to be matching for the pictures. I'll give James a call after work to see what they want us to wear. You're working overtime right now. I can handle it. No, it's best that I do it. They've been acting a bit strange lately. What do you mean, they've been acting strange? Well, there has been more chatter in the family group. And some of the things that my mom and brother have said, well, it's made me uncomfortable. Really? I hadn't seen any increase in discussion. Admittedly, I thought it was weird since the wedding is less than a month away. Yeah, there definitely has been a lot more chatter. I get pinged at nearly all hours of the day. Wait, it's a new chat room and they didn't add you? Hmm, and it won't let me add you. I'll call my brother when I get off work. This is just too weird. No, I'll give him a call. I won't mention that you told me about the chat room. It's possible they want to keep that just for the family. Yeah, you're right. I'll leave it up to you, but let me know if he gives you any more trouble, huh? Okay, have a great day. And remember, I love you. I love you too. Hey, James. I was trying to prepare for the wedding, but I don't see what the color scheme is. All you need to know is that we're registered with Blackwells. What do you mean? Sean and I are coming to the wedding. We want to make sure we have the right clothes for the wedding. You guys don't need to worry about that. I thought you guys wanted the entire family matching. I told you that you don't need to worry about it. We're taking care of all that stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. We'll make sure to get you a fantastic gift. Sean already has something in mind. Hmm. I trust my brother to get something nice. Yeah, he's an amazing gift giver. I know. He's been my brother a lot longer than he's been your husband. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll let you go. I just wanted to make sure we didn't ruin your wedding pictures. Don't worry. We won't let you mess things up. Okay, well, have a great day. I will, as soon as you stop texting me. I'm home. I can hear. Come on inside. Why are you still in the garage? I'm just really tired. Well, I have a special treat ready for you. Really? So you're bribing me to come inside, huh? Well, I figured it would be a good way to ease you into the conversation. Um, that sounds ominous. I texted your brother. You were right. There is something weird happening. What happened? He said that we don't need to worry about getting clothing, just the gifts. But I told them we were coming to the wedding. According to your brother, they're going to provide the clothing or something like that? Really? That doesn't sound right at all. I know that some people buy wedding outfits for their bridal party. We aren't in the party, though. We're just family. And I know James doesn't have that kind of money. I don't know what to tell you. When you come in, I can show you the texts. Also, he had a really short temper. He's never been rude like that before. I've been noticing that in the chat room, too. He's probably feeling really tense because of the wedding. It's getting close, so I'll bet he and Chloe are feeling the pressure. I guess. Let me see what he had to say first. If he's being rude to you, I'm going to let him know that it's not all right. It's fine, as long as we get to sit next to each other during the ceremony and reception. I can handle a bit of wedding rudeness. This is why we kept ours so simple, huh? I know your family wasn't pleased with that, though. I know. That's probably why he didn't ask me to be one of his groomsmen. I'm sorry about that. If I had known that they would be this upset, I would have had a bigger wedding. Her family loves drama. They shouldn't be surprised that we kept it to just friends. I know, but think about how they felt. How would you feel if your brother decided he didn't invite you? It's really different since his fiance wants that big wedding. It's not like what we did. Yeah, but you understand what I mean. I do, but he's in the situation because he chose someone who wanted a big wedding. Oh, and you know what? I got a call from my brother earlier. He's asked me to be one of his groomsmen. 
Really? That will... I mean, that's great for you. Do you want to? Yeah, I would love to. I know that means we won't be sitting together during the ceremony, though. If you prefer that I decline, I can let him know. Absolutely not. You join them. You'll go get to do the fun stuff. I'm happy for you. Are you sure? Yeah! We'll still be able to spend time together at the reception. Okay, as long as you're sure. I think it will be a great chance to make up for some lost time. That's what I hope, too. Thanks, love. You're the best. There is no reason to get between you and your family. You just have fun. I'll be fine during the ceremony. I'll make sure to stare at you lovingly. Maybe we can have some kind of ceremony with our family. That way, we can make up a bit for our families. We'll see how it goes with your brother's wedding. If your family has mellowed out a bit, we can talk about a ceremony. It has been almost five years since we married, so we can celebrate it with family. Yeah. First, we'll see how my family does. Then your family has the reunion coming up. If they've all learned to dial it back, a ceremony could be a lot of fun. I admit, it might be nice to get that experience with my family, but only if it is mostly drama-free. I know. And that's always been a huge ask for our families. Hey, why don't you come inside? We can talk about it instead of continuing to text. But I'm so tired. I don't want to have to walk all the way inside. Oh, <laughs> come on. I'll give you that special treat. Okay, but you'll have to listen to me complain. I can do that. Then, when you're done with dinner, I'll give you a massage. Ooh, now we're talking. See you in a couple of minutes. See you soon. Hey, Madeline, it's Chloe. I just wanted to make sure you have the right address for the wedding. Yeah, I do. But I figured that Brayden and I would drive there after the ceremony. Um, no. You don't exactly meet the family aesthetic. What? I don't want your appearance to ruin my mood during the ceremony. What do you mean? I mean I've spent a lot of time planning my perfect day. I don't need you or your sour face ruining it. Also, I don't want kids around, so many members of our families have kids, and we had to come up with another plan. Another plan? Yeah. Boy, James didn't tell me you were so slow. No wonder you work with kids. They're probably more on your brain level. Um, you realize we're about to be related, right? Don't remind me. It's almost enough to ruin the whole thing. Anyway, stop interrupting me. I'll tell you what your role will be in my wedding. I have a role. Stop texting. Ugh. You're going to go to the building next to the reception. People are going to drop off their kids there, and you're going to watch them. The wedding ceremony starts at noon, so a few of my bridesmaids will need to drop off their kids by 10. I want to make sure that they're properly prepared for the ceremony. So you'll need to be there around 9.30. But I won't be getting there until late the night before. Well, then you better figure something out. Don't go adding more work for me just because you didn't plan properly. Plan? I had no idea you guys wanted me to be a babysitter. I was planning to watch the wedding and attend the reception. Ugh, I don't know why. We specifically didn't tell you anything about what to wear. Because you were never supposed to be there. Learn to take a hint, Madeline. Jeez. I talked to James about it, and he said you guys were taking care of the family clothing so that we all match you. Ew! You aren't my family member, remember? You're too tall and flat to be attractive. And James knew that you wouldn't be there. He probably didn't want to ruin his plans of asking his brother to be one of his groomsmen. I mean, Sean is the most attractive man in the family. And of course we want him in pictures. He'll make them all look better. Um, does Sean know what you guys were planning? Of course he knew. No one would think you're attractive enough to be in the photos. I'm in our wedding pictures. Face it, he'd only marry you for your money. I'm not going to benefit from it, so there's no reason to kiss your butt. I have to get back to work. I'm going to talk to Sean when I get home. Don't you dare mess up my wedding with your selfishness. Brayden, did you know what your brother and his fiance were planning? Do you mean about the bachelor party? Because I'm not going to participate when the strippers arrive. What? No, that's not what I meant. They want me to babysit all of the kids in the family. 
They don't want kids at the wedding ceremony or reception. So they reserved a place for them. And they want me to spend all day watching everyone's kids? That can't be right. You must not have understood what they wanted. Zach told me that they had a surprise for me at the wedding. Yeah, I bet it's another woman. What? Why would you think that? Because Chloe was saying that I'm not attractive enough to be in the pictures. That's why they want me out of the way of taking care of the kids. There's no way anyone would say that about you. Here are the text messages. Why that cow? There's no way I'm going to let them do that to you. First, you're far more beautiful than she is. Second, they have no right to expect you to pay to travel to the city, then babysit for free. When I read that, I nearly cried. Oh, don't cry, honey. I'll fix this. I don't want to cause a fight between you and your family. You aren't the one causing the fight, Madeline. They both are. Please, don't go ruining their big day. I'm not going to do anything that they don't deserve. I'll be fine. They won't get another chance to have a wedding. I'll give them a choice, so it'll be on them how things turn out. What do you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of this. No one treats my beautiful wife like that. How dare you try and ruin my wedding? What? Ugh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're trying to ruin everything. I always knew you were a horrible, stuck-up witch. I didn't realize how horrible and selfish you were. I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? Ugh, I knew that your husband was going to give us an ultimatum. You were too much of a coward to do it yourself. Now you're creating a huge rift in the family. I hope you're happy with what you've done. I have no idea what you're talking about. He said we either had to pay you back for the trip, your room, and a whole day of babysitting or he was going to drop out of the wedding. He what? Don't act innocent. This whole thing was your idea. And my sweet little Brayden would never do this to me. Your sweet little Brayden? Yes. I've been in love with him since I was a child. But you went and stole him with your money. I'm marrying his brother because he's almost as good. What is wrong with you? Just back off and do what you're told. I won't let you ruin my wedding. I'm sorry, Chloe, but this was not my idea. But I'm not going to just let it go, either. Are you threatening me? No, I'm telling you that I'm not going to let you do this to James. He may be a bit immature, but he doesn't deserve to be in a marriage with a woman who wants his brother. You will not tell him. No, I won't. You'd better be here ready to babysit. Don't bring your ugly face around my wedding, got it? Madeline, answer me! I know that it's not quite time for your break, but I have something important to show you. Okay, send it along. I'll look at it when I have a chance. Okay, but I'm going to warn you, you don't look until you're on break and somewhere kind of tucked away. That doesn't sound good. It's not. Put your phone away and then make sure you're somewhere alone because you're going to get angry. Is it about the wedding? Yes. Okay, I got it. And Madeline? Yeah? I'm really sorry you've been dragged into the family drama. I didn't want you to be. It's not your fault. This is why we avoid our families. Any interaction with them just blows up into so much stress. I know. I'm thinking no ceremony with our families. Yeah. Clearly, they're not mellowed out. If anything, they seem to be getting worse. But we could plan to have a second honeymoon. Oh, now here's an idea. Don't let my family get you down. I love you. I won't. I love you too. How dare you ruin my wedding? I'll make you pay for this. You won't get away with what you've done. Oh, hi, Chloe. Good to hear from you. Don't give me that. You know what you did. James is saying he won't marry me now, but he doesn't ever want to see me again. All because you told him how I felt about my Brayden. You had no business doing that. I didn't tell James. He had our text messages. I saw them. I told Brayden, and he must have told James. It was nice of you to include some of your sexual fantasies about my husband after we stopped texting. That made it clear that you weren't after James. You should have just left it alone. When you die, I could divorce James and marry Brayden. Then we would have all your money. You just go and ruin it. When I died? What are you even talking about? 
I'm not going to tell you anything else because I know I can't trust you. I'll make you pay for this. I would say I'm sorry about the wedding, but that would be a lie. Good luck, Chloe. You're going to need it. I don't need luck. I know how to handle you. Instead of just getting married, I'm going to get even. You just wait. Are you okay? When I got to my family's place, my mom was acting really weird. I checked my notifications, and it said that there was a bomb at the hotel. It was just a bomb scare. The whole thing was a setup to get me out of my room. What do you mean? Chloe and some guy I'd never seen were waiting outside of my room. They tried to abduct me. I'm so glad that my parents had me learn hand-to-hand -hand combat. When I put the guy on the floor, Chloe fled. You can't be serious. I'm coming back right now. Thanks. I'm so shaken up that the cops have taken over. Chloe slipped out, but they're tracking her. I can't believe she would try that. And I think my mother knew. I'm so... Ugh. I'm never going to bring you anywhere close to my family ever again. Yeah, I'm going to get my stuff and head somewhere. Please wait for me. I'll meet you in the lobby, and I'll take you somewhere else. Right now, I'm just so shaken up. I don't want to be here. I understand, but I don't think you're in a state to drive. I can get a lift somewhere, or there's a cafe nearby. I can head there. Okay, leave our stuff. I'll take care of it later. For now, just get somewhere comfortable. Thank you, Brayden. I just want to leave this place and never come back. You don't have to come back ever again. Chloe was on the run for about two weeks because Brayden's mother helped her. His mother always wanted Brayden to marry Chloe and only accepted me because she wanted my family's wealth. Given how much information Chloe had texted me and the fact that she and Brayden's mother texted their plans, Neither of them stood a chance at getting away with anything. Brayden's mom was sent to prison for three years, mostly because she immediately turned on Chloe once the woman was caught. Their relationship is no longer the rosy love fest it used to be. Once she got out, no one in the family wanted anything to do with her. Since she had spent most of her money on getting a good lawyer, she had to go back to work in a different town. Chloe faced state charges for assault and battery and conspiracy to commit murder. She would have to serve 10 years before she would be eligible for parole. Then she would have to serve another 15 years on federal charges. By the time she gets out, she's going to be a very different person. Apparently, James didn't know because he was honestly upset about what Chloe had told him. He had spent a lot of his life in Brayden's shadow. After things fell apart, he left town, refusing to talk to anyone in his family. A year later, he got in contact with Brayden, and they've started slowly building up a relationship. James was taught to resent his brother, so he had to learn that Brayden wasn't the person James thought he was. I think they'll be good eventually, especially without their mother trying to pit them against each other. Brayden and I did take a second honeymoon, and it was fantastic. I ended up getting pregnant, so now we're expecting our first child. And we will make sure that our growing family is the kind of loving place where our children can thrive.